There's a number of commemorations that are planned throughout the day today. The first of those took place this morning at the site of Mr. Balid's assassination, uh, just outside his home in a northern suburb uh, of the capital. It was attended by, among others, his widow, Besma Khalfawi, uh, and she and supporters struck a tone uh, that was as mournful as it was also defiant, defiant and uh, sharply critical of the government's investigation uh, into the assassination of her husband. Uh, and into its uh, and uh, critical as well of uh, its claim to have killed his assassin uh, on Tuesday. Uh, Ms. Ms. Khalifawi is a member of a commission uh, which has charged itself with conducting an independent investigation uh, into Belay's murder. They told reporters uh, this morning uh, that there were a number of irregularities that they had found in the investigation uh, that the Interior Ministry had led into Belay's killing, and they called on uh, an international uh, committee uh, more uh, along the lines of the, the one investigating uh, the murder of uh, former Prime Minister Hariri in Lebanon. Uh, so really a direct challenge to the government who they said uh, were uh, possibly implicated either by incompetence, uh, by laxity, or even by complicity uh, in the murder of her husband. So really uh, quite a defiant and challenging tone today struck by supporters. Misha, Tunisia is still in the midst of transition. How did the assassination of Shokri Belayid one year ago influence where the country is at today? Well, of course, the assassination of Mr. Belayid, along uh, with that of his colleague Mohammed Brahmi, just a few months later, uh, resulted in uh, not one but two prime ministers stepping down, uh, and the Islamist Anatha Party, uh, who had been uh, had received the largest share of votes in elections, uh, giving up all hold on the interim uh, government, and it was uh, really a series of political crises that almost resulted uh, in a, a, a scenario uh, similar to that of. Egypt. Egypt. People were making uh, comparisons to uh, that country's coup uh, over the summer when the opposition deputies had stepped down and were, uh, were calling on the Constitution to be finished by an unelected body. Of course, we know that that outcome was avoided uh, and that a compromise was able to be reached between uh, the Islamists and the opposition. But in fact, that compromise was only finally implemented in the last few weeks when technocrat Mehdi Juma took over as as prime minister and the constitution uh, was finished. So a hard-won compromise, uh, one uh, that certainly had, took its toll on Tunisia, particularly in terms of uh, economic stability, but one that in the end showed uh, people's ability to hold accountable uh, their government for failure in ways that did not fully derail the democratic process. So in the end, a sort of victory uh, for the democratic process in Tunisia.